I'm going to put a lean-to roof in this area and it's only going to come as far as this door so it's going to cover from the gate to this door because I've got this outlet from the gas and I don't want any carbon monoxide so what I'm going to do is I've got these fence posts already which I put in myself and they go down about two or three feet and they're absolutely solid so I'm going to be bolting some thick wooden posts to these four and that'll make my frame for my roof to go across. My roof's 4.8 meters long. It's uh, 1.08 meters wide, roughly, and the panels are gonna have to be at least 1.2 meters wide to allow for the slope of the roof. Um, I've worked out, I'm gonna have seven polycarbonate panels. I'm gonna get them cut 65 centimeters wide because I need three centimeter gap in between each panel for the metal runners. I've purchased my polycarbonate panels from a company called Euracel. And when I told them it was 4.8 meters long and give them the width, they basically worked out to the exact millimeter what they'd need to cut each panel to fit it exactly. Okay, I'm using these three by three inch posts. And um, what I've done, this is the bit that's going on the bottom just got a piece of lead and shaped it around the bottom. Okay, I've got my first uh, wooden beam in place and I've drilled four holes to secure it to the concrete post. These are the fixings I'm using. Hammer frame fixings designed for use in concrete. So far there we are. The problem I have with the last post is where I would have put the wooden post is where my gate opens. So what I'm gonna do is put the post the other side of the gate in front of it. This is the other side of my gate, and I want my post to be level with this. So I'm going to take this one out. Okay, I've cut a piece of wood in there, and it's flush. Okay, I've drilled um, holes in the wood to secure, marking on the other piece of wood that it's going in. Then I've drilled some pilot holes. I'm going to use these screws. Okay, I want to strengthen this post even more. So what I'm going to do is, is on this post here, I'm putting this bit of wood, and I'm going to secure this with six mil framers, and then I can screw from here into that piece of wood. Okay, and that's that secured there into there, and there into there. Okay, I've just marked on my wall where the roof's going and from this white line here, six inches down, is going to be a back plate that my rafters are going to attach to. And then the course above it will be where I'll be putting my flashing in. So at the moment, from this point here, measure 40 centimetres down, that's going to be the size of my pitch on my roof. So what I've then done, got my spirit level from that point 40 centimetres down and work it out level onto my first post. And that's going to be where I'm going to cut my posts and that'll be the bottom of my roof. And then I can just level from there onto the four other posts. Okay, I've started my uh, back plate on the wall. And I've started with a small piece first because it's a bit more manageable. What I actually did is I had my ladder a bit higher. While I was up the ladder, I was resting on the plank to keep it in place. And I've just drilled the holes into the brick for the timber fixings. 
Okay, I've got the um, piece of back plate on the first bit. And the second bit I've cut is going to go as far as this aerial cable. That's it on the floor. Six inch by one inch. Now, there's one ladder and one of me, so it's going to be difficult balancing that there. So I've come up with a bit of a plan. So that's what I've done. I've used two clamps on two bits of wood to get it to the right height to hold it up. And then I put a second clamp there. I don't know if you can see or not, but I've been marking out where I think the joists are gonna go so that I don't put any screws over that bit. Let's see, I left that clear over there. I've just drilled all the holes in this piece of wood. Now readjusted that. Got a nice and level. Okay, the, uh, the back plate for the rafters is all there now. Okay, I've been using the clamps on two spirit levels, making minor adjustments. That's right on the line that I drew. And you can see that's level. And I'm going to mark that. Now I've marked the um, place to cut on each of the four posts. I'm now going to just mark them on all four sides. This 3.6 metre length of wood is going to cover the first three poles and then I'll have a separate bit of wood from the third pole to the fourth pole. Okay, I've got that exactly where it's going to be and I've marked it front. I'm going to mark the other end. Okay, I've cut the first post to size and brought an indent in to receive the uh, wooden crossbar frame. Okay, the second one, I've undone the fixings and that's coming out now to be cut and recessed. Okay, it's all marked out, ready to saw. Just saw a piece off there, ready to go. all the crossbars just got the rafters to do okay I've used my four foot spirit level to go across and that's gonna represent the line at the top of the rafters so I can now use a level to work out the angle to cut there and down there onto my wood okay there's my just the bowl level tool and I've screwed it in so that's my angle I'm gonna mark on okay. okay I've just measured from here to here it's 109.5 centimeters okay I've worked out the angle to the bottom Okay, I've measured 109.5 and draw my line. I'm ready to cut now. Mark that back. Front. Just put the rafter in place. And it's a pretty good fit. Okay, I've just secured the bottom with a screw by putting my spirit level on to make sure it's level with the bottom of that front piece of wood. And now I'm going to secure to the rear and what I'm doing is ensuring 
that it's all square from my original measurements. I'll move my hand and you can see that's pretty good. Okay, my first raft is fully secured. One thing I've realized is that the length of roof from the back wall to the frame at the front isn't exact along the whole length of the roof. So I need to know the longest length so that I can cut all my panels to the same length so they look uniform at the end. So what I'm gonna do is put my spirit level, bring it along on drawing pencil on the bottom, the furthest line out so I know the longest length that the panel's gonna be. And I'll add a little bit of additional panel as a lip to go across, which will then go over my guttering when I fit it the other side of this plank. I've marked the distance or the length of the uh, rafters all across the roof. And you can see there's about three centimeter difference between the shortest piece and the longest piece. The plan is we'll add four centimeters onto the longest bit and that's going to be the length of my roof panels. Okay, I'm going to go for 120 centimeters. The roof panels I ordered, I ordered at 125 so that they weren't too short. That's a bugger. Uh, I was initially going to order them at 120, but there you go. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is chase the brickwork using this old diamond cutting disc. I realised quite quickly that I need the right tool for the job, so I bought this thicker raking diamond cutting disc. Okay, I've raked the mortar out, apart from this one little bit I'm going to do by hand because of this. Aerial cable. Okay, for this little bit of mortar behind there, I'm going old school. Okay, I've hoovered all of this. All the dust's gone. And now I'm just cleaning it out. Okay, the pieces of wood that I already had, they're uh, too thin to be the rafters. So we need uh, 44 mil thickness for the metal uh, bars that go on top to uh, support the polycarbonate sheets. So it's just a case of screwing two of these together, which is what we're doing at the moment. So we've got the two, making sure we've got a nice straight edge on the one side. Okay, these are the bars that the polycarbonate sheets are going to fit into. You can see it's aluminium bar with two rubber slips either side. And then this plastic bit goes over the top and slots in and it's got some more rubber to keep the water out. And the screws to get it onto the rafters go in the middle. Because I've got two separate bits of wood together, I think I'll have to put the screws in at a slight angle to make sure I'm getting into wood. I'm just using what I've got. Otherwise I would have been buying 44 mil thick pieces of wood from the beginning. I need to cut these strips into uh, 120 centimeter strips. Drilling the 
put the first aluminium roofing bar in place. Now we've got to put the sheet on top and work out where the next bar is going to go because that's where my raft is going to go underneath. So that's what we're going to do now. 